Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to have the dupe versus the original. Um, which one is better? Which one has um, some positives? Which one has some challenges? So I think there's something to be said about both. So if you'd like to see how I got this eye look, I'm gonna do a tutorial with them. And then if you stay till the end, you're gonna hear um, my review on which palette did I like better and for what reason. So I hope you stay tuned, get ready for some fun. Okay, so we are going to do one eye with the Kat Von D palette today and one eye with the Makeup Revolution. So which eye is going to be what? I will unveil when I'm done. Actually, I probably won't unveil while I'm done. I'll just go ahead and do it right now. I was curious, um, I was watching, you know, I do like the dupe videos and I've um, recently come across Makeup Revolution and have enjoyed trying some of their products. I did buy a product from them and I need to kind of find it, but I wasn't impressed with the first product I bought from them, so I didn't think I'd ever buy anything else. But the other products that I've used from them have actually been pretty good. I do like to see the dupes. Um, that's kind of fun, and if you see the, the interior of these palettes, um, they're beyond very similar. So I want to see how they apply if um, Makeup Revolution has come up with something that is equal to Kat. Although I will say I do understand why her being so um, upset, because it's not just that it's a dupe, but the names of it are so close. Um, this one is for Makeup Revolution is Light and Shade, and hers is Shade and Light. So while I do like dupes, I mean, they they went really close on this one. So I am going to probably do um, some of the middle colors here, which is a little bit, I think, cooler. So let's see what we can create on the eyes. So we're going to start with this big color here. And by the way, I've already prepped my skin and maybe done um, a bit while well, I finish the rest of my face, basically with the exception of the eyes. So we're gonna start out with the Makeup Revolution and do one eye and then recreate it with Kat on the other eye. I probably should have started with a prettier base. All right, I'm gonna use this color here for an all over base so we can blend off of Then I'm gonna take this little bit smokier taupe and go into darken up that crease. And we'll go ahead and swipe some of this darkish black. I mean, it's not a black, it's more of a gray. Ooh, I wish you could have seen this, the fallout. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to pick this up on camera. Check that out. You definitely want to knock your brush with this one. Okay, I'm going to take a flat brush here and I'm going to take this peachy color. Even though I said it's cool tones, we're going to kind of maybe warm it up a little bit with that peach. And I'm gonna put the peach all along the lower lash line. And then we're gonna use this white here and just go right underneath the brow bone or right underneath my eyebrows to kind of help define those eyebrows. And then on the inner corner. I'm gonna still use this flat brush and pick up a little bit of this dark grayish black color. And now they don't have colors in this. And just kind of sweep out, do the lower lash line. So we're gonna use the Milani and use that in our inner water line and to tight line. We will use the e.l.f. and charcoal to line the upper eyelid. 
It's funny, I've recently tried to get away from doing that and I feel like it makes my eyes look tired. It's probably just me. All right, we're using the Clean Color Angelic Wink. This came from one of those dollar online stores. Miss something. If I can remember where I what um, dollar store I got this online, I'll let you guys know. Miss, dang it. I hate when my brain doesn't work, which is often. All right, so while that sets, I'm gonna grab my eyeliner again since um, the black eyelash glue went a little wonky and these things are not staying on. Okay, so now we're gonna go over to the shade and light. I'm gonna let that sit a little bit so that um, hopefully it'll stick before I put on some mascara. We're gonna use the same colors. I'm gonna go in the same kind of, since I started with this one, I wanna do it exactly like I did the other. And if you notice, this has fallout also. So I would say both palettes have equal fallout. So after I did that color, I think I went over to this one to go all over the lid. Ooh, this one's far more pigmented than the other one. Holy. Okay, that one, so far cats, that, that color is far more pigmented. Um, we're gonna pick up this color here and darken up that crease. Then we are going to pick up the black, and this black is far more darker than the Makeup Revolution. Okay, so now we're going to pick up the peachy color. And then we'll pick up the white for underneath the brow. Waterline. Okay, so here is the finished product between the Makeup Revolution and the palette um, from Kat, Shade and Light. This is Light and Shade. Let me get these on the right eyes, how about that? So um, I, was, I started with the Makeup Revolution on this eye, as you guys saw, and the colors came out nice. I think that um, for an inexpensive dupe, this could be very good. So, I mean, I, I guess I, I do understand, not I guess, I do understand why Kat was really mad about how close these two palettes are and that um, all they did was reverse the name. So I get that. But these palettes are very expensive, but they are quality too. So like, um, I'm kind of up in the air about both of these. So this one I think was maybe $15. And the colors I think went on well as far as a dupe goes. I think if you did both eyes and you told someone that it was Kat's palette, they probably wouldn't maybe second guess that. But now that I've got these side by side, um, as you can tell, well, maybe you can or can't, I definitely can. The, the peach color is more vibrant with Kat's palette. Um, actually, all the colors were more vibrant and pigmented. And again, I wouldn't have noticed it necessarily unless I did the side by side comparison, but Kat's palette is more expensive. You do get a higher quality product and um, you get a lot more pigmentation. So I'm kind of caught between how wonderful I think that these make as a dupe for $15, but then I absolutely still love Kat's product better. Um, it has just more pigmentation. They both had about the same kind of fallout but again, as far as the pigmentation goes, I'd have to say that um, while I love these two palettes, or I think this is a great inexpensive dupe, 
if I had to buy them again, I would still go with Kat's. So um, I just really like how hers has more pigmentation and I didn't, you don't have to build it up. It's just there. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial slash um, dupe. It, it was fun to try, that's for sure. Um, I actually probably would travel with this one before this one because if something broke in my suitcase, I'd much rather have a $15 palette break in my suitcase versus Kat's palette. I love Kat. So um, I hope this may have helped you see what um, head to head what these two look like next to each other and to hear some feedback. So if you're on a budget, I would definitely say Makeup Revolution light and shade palette could be good but if you like the high quality lots of pigmentation great blendability um, i'm still leaning towards cat so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend and as always make it a beautiful day until next time